Right, here we go. Okay, as I said, it's um, following on from the uh, My Carter uh, video. I said I'd uh, make a pick out of the uh, piece of My Carter I made, and obviously that is the uh, the same piece. Um, and uh, so, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna put this video together, if I'm being honest with you, so you just have to bear with me. Um, it might just be a speeded up video and um, with a little bit of music playing, or I might sort of go through and just have intervals where I sort of explain what I'm doing. Um, but the long and the short of it is uh, obviously that's your uh, your pick handle material. Obviously, it can be uh, wood, um, <coughs> acrylic, or uh, this fantastic Corian that um, XP Mods has just sent over to me. Um, and then, of course, we've got the uh, steel, um, which is uh, this, the the blanks that um, uh, Law Lock Tools is um, selling. Um, I believe they're uh, ten for fifteen pounds, which is an absolute bargain because the steel is phenomenal. Um, and then uh, this is a little jig I've, uh, I make um, for uh, cutting the actual uh, tang slots, um, which we'll go through in a little bit. Uh, punch, to actually punch the 33 uh, uh inch um, holes through the uh, actual steel for the tang. Um, and then obviously the uh, um, drill press and bits and pieces to actually go through wherever your handle is. Um, so, as I said, as I'm not entirely sure. Oh, of course, we got the saw to uh, cut the actual tang as well. Um, and then uh, tape, um, really important. Um, this is uh, like a non tack um, tape, so it doesn't leave any of the residue on the actual uh, pick um, tang as you uh, constantly are taking it off and um, taping it up and uh, taking it off and everything. So, uh, listen, what we do, we'll uh, clear all this away, I think. Sandpaper, absolutely brilliant. This stuff's from Poland. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's for, um, uh, it's waterproof. Uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's for car um, repairs, but it works fantastically well on um, on picks. Okay, so the design. Now I don't know. I haven't even thought about what we're going to do. Oh, of course, we've got some uh, 3.3 um, inch um, brass rod there as well. Um, okay, we'll design a pick. Um, we'll go completely live doing this then. <laughs> um, I actually made a pick a little while ago that I go straight across there. Oh, let's make sure you can see everything's going on. I suppose that might help, won't it? Um, okay, that are quite light. Um, it's kind of funky, and uh, I think it'll work quite well. Um, let's go around this way. The good thing is with uh, pick making is you know things can change. You know, it's um, as long as it's uh, it looks good and it's functional. And uh, I think you know the creative side is you know whatever whatever you sort of want really. Um, and of course we need to make sure that that stays central. As I said, it's not a quick process unfortunately, which is why I'm not entirely sure how we'll um, end up doing this video, but we'll work it out. It's, uh, I know there's probably some people out there who can make them a lot quicker than I can, but it is what it is. So we've got that. Now obviously what I'll probably do is as we come down, I'll probably shrink this down a little bit. Um, obviously the main criteria is to obviously make sure the actual stripes going right way through the center. Um, so, uh, and then obviously we'll mark the holes. Uh, I think I'll go for one about there. And one about there. And then obviously the pick will be coming to about there. So we've got enough meat on there to actually um, to actually hold the tang. Um, and then obviously it will be epoxied as well. Um, now I tend to just mark roughly where I want things to be. Um, no exact science, do you know what I mean? I'm a fire alarm engineer, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm not a chippy or anything silly like that, so it's uh, it's all done how I decide I'm going to do it. But obviously we do want this part relatively straight. Okay, so, so now we've actually got the design of the pick I'm going to do. Uh, we've got where our holes are going to go and we've marked where the actual slot's going to go uh, for the tang. Just 
mark that bit there just so I know which bit's coming out. And that'll go through there, that's fine. Okay, now, obviously we have a jig um, that I, uh, well, it's slightly out there, but it doesn't really matter. It's, um, which uh, is the first part I, um, I do. Um, so what I'll do, I'll uh, get this uh, <laughs> sort of viced up here. It's, uh, I'll get this viced up into uh, the uh, Black & Decker workbench, which is something I use all the time. Um, and then uh, we'll cut the, uh, the tang uh, slot and then uh, we'll be back. So uh, listen, I'll uh, get everything set up and then uh, we'll uh, video the actual cut as well. I'll be back soon. Okay, so um, obviously I've got my little jig um, in the actual uh, good old faithful uh, Black & Decker workbench. And then uh, we're just going to go for the cut. Now obviously with the, um, the actual slot there already, it kind of gives me a good guideline. Should be fine. Okay, and there you go. We've got the perfect cut all the way through. We're ready for uh, taking the actual pick. Um, uh, just need to go a little bit lower. Yeah, so I'll quickly uh, we can get away with that, I think, actually. Yeah, I'll just quickly get that a bit lower and then uh, we'll be back to the bench. Okay, so we're uh, just back from cutting the actual uh, tang. Uh, slot which has actually worked out absolutely fantastic um, and uh, we can uh, sort of get around to uh, getting it all shaped and bits and pieces now getting it leveled out and then obviously because I've just gone down there obviously we just need to uh, get it so it's nice and uh, even um, and then uh, it will start resembling a, uh, a pick very shortly um, so uh, what I'll do I'll um, we're gonna go to the bandsaw next um, so what I'll do I'll get this all set up for the bandsaw and then uh, we can uh, go from there I'll be back soon Okay, so uh, just one thing I will point out, obviously I find that um, the actual uh, slot for the tank probably the hardest part, um, which is why I do it so early on. As you can see, we're literally, it's the, probably the first thing I do after marking the actual uh, pick design out. Um, and then uh, once we've got that done, then obviously we can start shaping things and uh, getting it um, sorted out, making it look like a pick. Okay, so let's uh, get the old bounce going. Uh, the uh, bench um, sander and start getting a bit of shape to it. Okay, it's, uh, just before we start, I'll probably speed up most of this. Um, obviously, that's the uh, the pick, obviously, which we're uh, going to shape up. Um, probably my favourite tool. Um, it kind of obviously with the uh, the belt sand, obviously it just gets through the uh, material so quickly. Um, but obviously, it makes a hell of a racket. So um, what I'll do, I'll uh, sort of go through and uh, video this, and then of course we'll uh, speed it up when uh, you get to see it, and I'll probably do a little uh, voice overlay. Okay. Okay, so we're looking a lot more like a pick now, um, a bit more comfortable, probably needs a little sort of a millimetre or so taken off the top still, um, but as you can see we're, uh, we're certainly definitely uh, getting to uh, look more like um, what it's going to look like when it's finished. Um, so listen, I'm just going to work on it for another couple of minutes or so and then uh, we'll get back up to the bench and um, we'll get ready to put the holes for the, um, the pins. I'll be back very shortly. Okay, just before we go to the bench, um, I thought I'd actually round the bottom off a little bit here because my plan is obviously to have the peck tang going through and round there so it's nice and comfortable for those people who uh, pick that way. And then obviously the pick will just kind of curve round and then come out. And then obviously we're going to do like a John Eggington style uh, pick. So obviously the actual pick tip will go up so you'll be able to hold this way or this way. And uh, I think it'll look pretty cool. So I thought I'd just uh, carry on and... Uh, and all right um so as you can see i've got a curve there and uh just to make sure it's um it's all sitting flush um and uh, i think that's going to make it look quite nice actually um a bit of a feature to it um i'm just going to round the cut the, the uh, bottom off as well so we've got Okay, so as you can see, I've just rounded the uh, the back of the uh, pick off. So um, yeah, it's looking quite nice. That is, I think we're um, ready to go back to the bench and uh, work out where the hole's going to go and uh, go from there. Right, cheers.
Okay, so we've uh, just come back from the uh, the bench grinder, and uh, yeah, we're looking all right actually. Uh, quite comfortable. This will probably still come down about a mil, half a mil, um, and uh, it's um, yeah, it's going to be all right. And obviously, as it, as we sort of go through the finishing process, obviously it'll thin down a little bit, probably about another two mil either side. Um, but um, yeah, so we're we're not doing too bad. Okay, it's um, the uh, the holes for the uh, the pick. Um, to actually hold the pick so obviously I just tend to go about six mil um, from the uh, back of the uh, tang and then I tend to go 20 mil from there so that's 20 mil from there and if we can just mark that there and then mark that there okay it's so 20 mil there Okay, that's good. So that's where my um, holes for my uh, pins are going to go, um, and then it's far enough back, um, and uh, and then obviously uh, enough to actually give the actual picker um, a really strong um, grip. Well, obviously with the pins and obviously the epoxy. Um, next, obviously we've got the um, the tang to shape up. Um, now, what I do is quite early on. It's, um, we want to get the actual uh, blank um, in and make sure that obviously we've got it fitted correctly. Um, just sort of go through both sides just to make sure um, everything's uh, going to fit nice and uh, comfortably both top and bottom. That's good. Um, now obviously this pick, if you look down, obviously this is going to be your true edge of the actual pick. So obviously our pick tip's going to be about here. That will be going up so obviously we're going to run right away from that line there um, if you actually look down the pick you can see what i mean there it's going to look pretty cool and now obviously this line here will, will line truth with that one but obviously if we were to aim it down there then obviously the pick would be going down this way and it just wouldn't look right so i tend to uh that's why i tend to eye them up and uh, just to make sure it's all going to look right once it's done um now as far as marking um the tang's concerned, what I do is uh, I tape up the actual um, outer side of the actual pick. So obviously once I use um, a permanent marker, it doesn't actually mark um, the bits and pieces there. So I'll tell you what, might as well uh, just go for that now. like the most important part making sure everything lines up everything's going to line up making sure everything's going to be fine okay so the pick uh, blank was in there and then obviously what I tend to do if you can get a good picture okay so you can basically see what the actual pick tip is going to look like now. Now obviously I'll take away as much of this material as possible um, but still leaving probably about a millimeter either side so we can uh, mess around with that um, and then the next stage before I actually start going for the actual final um, uh, finish on the actual uh, pick tip is uh, we'll obviously put the holes in, center it back up again and then just make sure we've got everything absolutely bang on. Um, so yeah, so this is what we do, we'll stop the video now and uh, we'll probably come back to this tomorrow. Okay, so yeah, sorry for the different camera angles. It's, uh, I'm just trying to work out what's the uh, the best camera. So uh, anyway, this is back where we were. Obviously, uh, that's the uh, the pick. Obviously, we um, still got to drill the holes in that, um, but we just need to get rid of uh, the majority of the material here. Um, so what I tend to do is uh, tend to just go through with a hacksaw and uh, and get rid of it. Um, as you can see, I've just drawn a line just quickly across there to obviously make sure that I don't um, take away any material that. Uh, that we need that would be disastrous and we'd have to start again okay we're going to be fine there Okay, so as you can see, we've uh, kind of roughly cut out the, um, the actual shape of the pig tip. 
Um, so uh, I think what we're going to do, we're going to conclude that for uh, part one. Um, and then the uh, part two, obviously, we'll um, get the holes uh, put in the actual uh, pick handle, um, mark the holes in here and uh, get this looking like the, uh, the finished uh, pick tip. So listen, guys, hope you enjoyed the first part and I'll catch up with you very shortly for the uh, second part. Listen, guys, have a nice day. Catch up with you soon.